Now to a shocking story out of Poland. Secret recordings of the foreign minister calling Warsaw's alliance with the U.S. worthless and harmful. The Polish magazine reports the recordings were Foreign Minister Radek Sikorski speaking with a former finance minister. Sikorski is quoted as saying, the Polish-American alliance isn't worth anything. It's even harmful because it creates a false sense of security for Poland. He goes on to say, we are suckers, total suckers. The problem in Poland is that we have shallow pride and low self-esteem. The foreign ministry declined to comment but did not deny that Sikorsky made those remarks. Russia marks 73 years since the invasion of the Soviet Union. It was the largest German military operation of World War II. The human toll also staggering. Over 12, 25 million people died across the former Soviet Union. CCTV's Anya Ardayeva met with veterans in Moscow who shared their memories of how it all began. Every year on June 22nd, Russians mark the anniversary of Nazi troops invading the Soviet Union and the beginning of what Russians call the Great Patriotic War. 91-year-old Vasily Chubakov was 18 years old on the day when the war began. First, there was this very loud alarm, and then people started running everywhere trying to hide. We were digging trenches. Vasily spent three years fighting the Nazis before he was demobilized in 1943. I was heavily injured, nearly lost my eyesight and lost my hand. The train station behind me served as the main transport hub during the war. From here, the very first trains carrying Soviet troops and supplies were sent to the front lines soon after the war began 73 years ago. Many of those who came here to mark the day were too young to take part in military action. Yevgeny was a small child when Nazis occupied his hometown in Belarus, but his memories are bright and vivid. I remember how they brought Jews for execution. They were all crying, men, women, and one woman wanted to run away and she was shot right there. We were watching from behind a fence. Tens of millions of lives, and four long years later, the war was over. I remember well when our troops came to liberate us. The city was completely destroyed. I was screaming, hooray, as hard as I could. I was at home sleeping, and then suddenly all the people came out to the streets. It was something amazing. Everyone was rejoicing, singing songs, and going slightly mad. Over 25 million people in the former Soviet Union perished between the years 1941 and 1945, up to 14 percent of the country's population. The war affected nearly every family, both in Russia and in the former Soviet republics, and the memories of it are still there, as well as hope that nothing like it could ever happen in the world again. Anya Ardaeva, CCTV, Moscow.